All right, welcome to Seven Season Studios. This lesson comes to us from our course, Affinity Designer, the complete guide to Affinity Designer on the iPad available below. So if you like the course, go ahead and check it out. Other than that, let's go ahead and roll those credits. All right, folks, and welcome back to Affinity Designer. Now, this lesson is going to be one of the most important, I would consider, to any digital art. This is our lesson on mask layers. So let's go ahead and open up a document. Doesn't matter what size. I like to stay square, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this 1,000 by 1,000. And we hit OK. Now, I want you to discard everything you think you know about color because color and mask layers don't work in the same vein. Mask layers work on black and white, on luminance, on shades of gray. So the thing that I need you to understand right off the bat, black conceals, white reveals. Okay, get that down in your head there. Black conceals, white reveals. Now, let's see what I mean here. In this workspace, let's go ahead and drag out a rectangle and make this rectangle red. Then, with the rectangle still selected, drag out another rectangle and make the upper rectangle blue. Okay, so let's check our layer structure. The blue rectangle is above the red rectangle. Everybody on the same page. Now, mask layers are special. So you come over to the plus and we're going to put in a mask layer. Now, notice the mask layer is this white square that is beside the blue square. Mask layers are tied to the layers. You can't separate these at this point. And the white means that all the blue is visible because remember white reveals black conceals so right now you can see all the blue what a mask layer does is it uses black and white to tell the layer how much to show so let's try this all right so we got our layer structure set up right now we're going to flip over to our pixel persona masking works in the pixel persona folks we're going to grab our brush. We're going to grab any old pixel brush. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to grab this scattered chalk. And I'm going to crank up the size of this scattered chalk brush. Now notice we are working in black. So if black conceals and a mask layer tells Affinity Designer how to deal with the blue, what do you think is going to reveal through? You see how the mask layer has revealed the red underneath. And why is that? Because it's concealed some of the blue. Now let's do this. Let's go to white, keep everything the same, and now paint with the white color. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, Jeremy, I'm not painting in white. Why am I getting blue? Because you're not actually painting on the layer. You're painting on the mask layer. So the mask layer tells Affinity Designer what to do to the blue rectangle. All right, so now let's go to a shade of gray. All right, let's go here to this lighter shade of gray. Make sure you are on the mask layer. And now what happens with this lighter shade of gray? Not a lot, right? But now if we go to a little darker shade of gray, make sure we're on the mask layer. Look at how more of that red shows through. And then when we go to the deepest shade of gray, which is black, look at how much of that mask shows through. So a little bit of gray, mid-tone gray, a lot of black. That's how a mask layer works. So in order to create a mask layer, you choose the layer you want, you come up to the plus side and you add a mask layer. To delete a mask layer, you do the same thing. So masking is one of those fundamental concepts that you're going to want to get down because it allows you to add texture 
to your art. All right, that's a little bit on mask layer. Let's go ahead and take the next step. I'm gonna show you how to make a clipping mask. We're gonna be working with mask layers quite a bit in this course, so you get a lot of practice with it. What I need you to just get deep down into your soul, black conceals, white reveals when it comes to mask layers. All right, folks, we'll catch you in the next one.